coming out of the seed that we raised uh, at the end of demo day was when we moved into the apartment, 1800 square feet. So yeah, pretty small for, for all the different things. But you know, to build a spacecraft of this size, you don't necessarily need a huge amount of infrastructure in order to do that. And so we built it on, you know, Ikea desks that were fitted with all the different things and get some ESD mats and things like that, but, you know, able to sort of put it all together. They kept making progress, kept selling and kept growing without losing that scrappy spirit. And now, eight years later, they have more than 400 employees working out of a historic building at Pier 70 in an area that's quickly becoming a tech hub. And earlier this year, we visited their manufacturing facility while they were putting the finishing touches on four brand new satellites. These are panels that are in different stages of, of being assembled into full satellites. What you can see right here is one of our most fully assembled satellites. So that's that, a satellite. That, that is a satellite that is getting very close to being ready to go into space. So we are launching four satellites. These are launching together on a single rocket. One of the bigger rockets, this is the SpaceX Falcon 9. So we went and got our own dedicated Falcon 9 launch. Oh, there's going to be a dedicated Falcon 9 launch just Astronus. Yes, I think we were one of the first new companies in history to go and get an entire dedicated Falcon 9. We're getting those up, getting those operational and, you know, taking this from the, you know, one to end and really getting that first thing going, which has been, you know, great for scaling up the design and the manufacturing side has been the focus over the past couple of years. And then, you know, this year later, we're going to get used to operating. Instead of operating one, we're going to operate five. And there's going to be a lot of learnings and excitement and challenges with that, but we're looking forward to going through all of those. Um, but we're not just doing that. We're also developing our next generation system. And so there's a whole bunch of different things that are in work between that, other new vehicles and programs. And so it's a, it's, it's a balancing act. You don't need to be Elon Musk to start a hard tech company. If you've got some domain experience, a great co-founder, a scrappy mindset, and a lot of perseverance, regular people can actually start hard tech companies now too.